mitral E by E prime ratio on echocardiogram is an important indicator of left ventricular diastolic function. It can be used in the presence of atrial fibrillation when E by A ratio is not available. Tissue Doppler echocardiography showing measurement of mitral E by E prime ratio for assessment of diastolic dysfunction. Initially, mitral E wave is measured and stored as given in the image below. After that, color tissue Doppler, also known as tissue velocity imaging or TVI mode, is switched on to assess tissue Doppler. The cursor is placed over the medial mitral annulus and tissue Doppler tracing obtained. E prime velocity is measured and stored. Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. The software usually gives the E by E prime ratio. In this case, the ratio is given as 13.7. It may be noted that the Nyquist limit for the color tissue Doppler is 0.16 meters per second in this image while it is 0.65 meters per second in the following image for color Doppler imaging. This is because the blood flow velocities are much higher than the velocity of tissue movement with systole and diastole. Conventional Doppler assessment of transmitral flow showing E by A reversal in left ventricular diastolic dysfunction, MVE well, early mitral inflow velocity, MVDCT, deceleration time of the early mitral inflow velocity, MVD slope, deceleration slope of mitral inflow velocity, MVA well, mitral inflow velocity during atrial systole, MVE by A ratio, ratio between early mitral inflow velocity and atrial systolic mitral inflow velocity. Even though the most widely used measure of left ventricular diastolic dysfunction is documentation of E by A reversal in mitral inflow velocity by Doppler echocardiography, it has several limitations. Mitral inflow is dependent on the rate of ventricular relaxation, atrial pressure, relative compliance of atrial and ventricular chambers, as well as ventricular suction effect. Tissue Doppler assessment of myocardial velocity is useful in assessment of left ventricular diastolic function. The ratio of Doppler derived E to tissue Doppler derived E prime or E by E prime ratio has been shown to be a good predictor of mean left ventricular diastolic pressure. 85% of those with E by E prime ratio less than 8 had normal mean left ventricular diastolic pressures. All of those who had E by E prime ratio more than 15 had elevated left ventricular diastolic pressures. E by E prime ratio has the advantage that it can be used even in the presence of atrial fibrillation where E by A ratio is not available. To enhance the accuracy, determination of E by E prime ratio in a single beat using dual Doppler echocardiography has also been reported. References on tissue Doppler assessment of left ventricular diastolic function. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.